On the last episode of Solomon Freeski TV, Henrik Winstead and Cody Townsend found themselves in Girdwood, Alaska, battling it out for the top spot in the Solomon team. They thought they could get by on their good looks and charismatic personalities. Not this trip out of my house. <laughs> but this was no beauty pageant. They were there to ski. After the first half of the trip, the underdog Townsend was holding his own against Winstead. When the skies cleared, the battle resumed. First day back out after the storm, conditions seemed good, but the mountains said otherwise. An unstable layer in the snowpack made for hair trigger avalanche conditions. After a couple nervous runs on the big wall and spine cell, the crew went in search of smaller and safer slopes. The next day, the snowpack had tightened up. Everything seemed to be going right. That is until Henrik had one of the scares of his life. Henrik and I get dropped off on top, and he's like, ah, oh, I gotta go take a poop. You know, probably had the, the pre-jump dump nerves. I was like, hey, I think that's pretty big cornice right there, and you might want to step back. And, I mean, he was about 15 feet back from the edge, so it seemed like it was all right, but all of a sudden I hear just the loudest roar I've ever heard. Look over, and Henrik's not there. And I look down over the edge, and you see a massive avalanche going down. It broke off, and I went down with it. I didn't even have my skis on, which was kind of lucky, I guess. Henrik was lucky enough to land on a ledge just a few meters down from the top. With his confidence shaken, his skis lost for good, and his pants around his ankles, we expected him to sit out for the rest of the day. Henrik thought otherwise. Here he is just 10 minutes later, dropping off the same peak on a pair of skis he borrowed from photographer Scott Markowitz. Then, determined to slay the mental dragon, Henrik heads straight back to the top and drops in on the line right next to the avalanche path. The crew made their way back to base, everyone stunned by the performance of Henrik Winstead. With just one day left in the trip, it seemed the part-time model from Sweden would be the one leading us into the future. As the boys made their way back into the field on their final day, they spotted peak 6500, a mountain that would change everything. With a renewed sense of vigor, Cody drops in first. Once again, Henrik answers the call, then races the stakes on the steeper spine section on the north flank. As Henrik rallied out the bottom, Cody spotted a line that nobody wanted anything to do with. A blind rollover led to a 50 plus degree spine that ended in a 30 meter cliff. With heavy slough pouring down either side, once Cody pushes off, there will be no way out. 15 minutes later, Cody's on top. Yeah, you're standing right above it. It looks like if you just drop in and get on that spine, that just skiers right down below you. Uh, right below me? I, I can't see jack shit. I think if you just take it from there, then you should be all good. You just gotta watch the very slow. Cody drops in. The veteran crew agreed that Cody Townsend had just laid down one of the best runs ever done in Alaska, and for that, he wins the battle. But we're proud of both guys, and come on, 
What the world really needs is less battles and more love. Next time on Solomon Free Ski TV, we hitch a ride into the future.